Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokey Aim here with the next part of Ammo Pump to the top, except they're trying to hold me back, man. We have uh, a UU suspect test going on, of course, of course we do. Like three, four days before uh, Ammo Pump to the top is done. But they're testing in Buzzwell as well as Braylon. So I have this team that HT made uh, for his SPL game. And I modified it a little bit. I put safety goggles on Crobat so I don't have to worry about Breloom. Uh, and I put M Palm over SD Scizor so I don't have a Wing Con anymore. <laughs> besides Sharpedo. Uh, but I have Flying and Z Bounce. So I'm hoping to catch a Buzzle. One or two at least. I haven't ladder at all on UU. This will be a lot of fun. I don't know how usage goes as far as... Let me just block the M's. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, as far as... Um, suspect tests go. But we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, let's just go on and look for a battle. If you guys want to use a team alongside me, you can. Uh, of course, he has like two Pokemon I really don't want to fight. I mean, Shark is really good in this. Uh, but even then, how do you deal with Anapom? You don't like Anapom. You really don't like her either. And I have a Amoongus counter, which is my Crobat, because I put Safety Goggles, like I said, over Flying Z. He had Flying Z, and then this was an SD uh, Scissor, which probably would have put in a lot of work here, too. Uh, not gonna lie, but hmm. I think as far as leads go, Swampert gives me the best versus Crobat. I mean, versus Crocodile, Lucario, and whatnot. Um, Latias always checks a Luke as well. I have keys for T Wave. I'll go Swampert. Yeah, like I said, as far as leads go, I think this is the best option. If he wants to get up rocks here, that's fine. I'm gonna draw off a Scald. Uh, potentially burning this or even Amoongus coming in. Uh, getting this that low is amazing for my... Uh, it's absolutely amazing for my Crobat, which is going to be able to click Brave Bird here. And I can actually just go Hard Crobat, because again, I'm Safety Goggles, so I don't care about anything you can do. Nice. And we can just Roost right here, because he does have a Rotom, and we're just going to be chipping away at it with Stealth Rock. And as you can see, his Flying Resist is already at 75%. Do we see Leftovers? We do not. Uh... Scarf is definitely an option. You can't pursue trap me, so I'm actually gonna go Lottie just because your uh, crocodile is so low. Yeah, there we go. And now we can just drop a Draco. It doesn't matter if Lucario comes out and starts setting up. Uh, Hard Azu is a very smart play on my opponent's part, for sure. But I made the play that didn't allow Crocodile to come in. Uh, so my Swampert's gonna take a lot right here. Choice Ban Azu is nothing to play with. Yeah, that is that is banded as hell. That is banded as hell. Uh, but I only need its perk for the Crocodile, which is already weakened. And I can then go out to something like Amapom and click Fake Out into Fly MZ or something like that. I think that's what I'll do. Because we know that's banded. That's 100% banded. Uh, so. Go for Fake Out first. As it goes Luke. I'm assuming it's a Nasty Plot variant, I want to say. Although it could be an Extreme Speed variant. But if it is a Nasty Plot variant... Hmm, because I need spikes up that way shark wins. Uh, Defogger could be Rotom or Pidgeot. I'm gonna go Lottie because I, I don't want to risk a vacuum wave. Smart man to go for Flash Cannon right there, but we can still just drop a Draco. And we're doing that because we don't want to allow Crocodile coming because now I can just click Psychic with my Scarf Lottie. So great, Crocodile comes out. Obviously, he's gonna come in with his Azu and claim a kill. Uh, which is the the drawback of this turn, but I can go keys and just we got the key, key, key. Ooh, take one hit, which is fire, and just set up a spike. And we're really just setting up for that uh, for that Amoongus sweep. Yeah, so again, palm right here for that Amoongus sweep for that Sharpedo sweep, uh, and I'll just tail slap because tail slap guarantees the damage I need. Uh, and I'm also going to be able to knock out Amoongus with this anyway. Uh, I, I, I unfortunately miss. Throw off a Super Sonic Sky Strike now. Let's see if we pick up that KO. See, this is why missing sucked right there. Uh, but I can now throw off a Fire Punch because it also hits Amoongus as well as the... Um, as well as Lucario coming in. As Pidgeot is going to come out. And this just means I get to drop another Draco slash Click Psychic uh, respectively. Um, so at this point, I think... Crobat's still useful because it checks Lucario as well as being able to do that. Uh, honestly, I think the Ammo Palm is the most expendable member. It sucks that Tail Slap missed because then I had to take a hit. Or, well, not really. Uh, either way, we just go Lottie right now and we just click um, Draco. Draco guarantees the KO on Pidgeot. 
and Lucario doesn't beat me, uh, as long as Azu takes that damage right there, I win the game. So I just stay in right here. Draco allowed him to knock me out. As he goes for knockoff, which I think was not the play. Just to protect here. Goes hard Rotom, which is definitely not the play. Like, you needed Rotom to beat my... Uh, now you don't even beat Crobat. And I could just crunch in regular form and knock you out. So now you don't even beat Crobat. Um, at all, I feel. I don't know how much Vacuum Wave does to a Mega Sharpedo. But if I Mega Evolve and tank it, then that's my best play. Because then I can Brave Bird with Crobat and win the game. Uh, the Torpedo, Lucario, 94, why not, it's still my best, in, in my best interest to stay in here, plus he might even, again, uh, predict my Crobat to come in, uh, but right there, like, it was a roll in my favor, anyway, and... Yeah, that was the first game of the ladder. So let's go ahead and look for another one. Unfortunately, because I missed the tail slap, Super Sonic, Sky Strike, Ammo Palm, wasn't able to pick up the KO earlier, but it did kick up the KO anyway, which is pretty fire. Um, really cool team on my opponent. A very scary team. I'm kind of missing Ice Punch on this thing now. But I mean, Corbett beats. Like, like, Sharpedo beats the majority of his team, if not all of his team, which is a little bit of damage. He has Blastoise plus Manetric, which is interesting. Uh, well, we know it's Mega Manetric, though. So we'll figure out first. That no matter what he goes out into, this is a good turn. Any chip on Manetric means a Sharpedo can put in work later. Uh, I'm definitely going to try and spike stack on him, but because he does have a regular Blastoise, it's actually a lot harder to wear down the Mega Blastoise simply because of leftovers. I don't trip on this. Do you have HP Grass, bro? Reveal. I don't even care, I'm clicking rocks. And if he goes Serp, I go right to Crobat. If it subs, Infiltrator, Brave Bird picks up the KO. Also, like, Manetra gets to a KO by Brave Bird anyway right now. So hard Serp, yep. Too bad Safety Goggles, I don't think, protects me from Glare. Because it's not a powder move. Yeah, we just click Brave Bird here. Um, <laughs> why'd, you, why'd you stay in with Superior? Okay, so my opponent opted to stay in with Superior. That's one less Ice Fang I have to hit. Yeah, okay, I guess because when you're lower on the ladder, I have no idea what he expected there. Even U-Turn would have done damage. Like, I'm a Crobat. I'm a Crobat. I just want to fight something cool and, you know, go for my... This is going to be an annoying game. Just because of these two. These pink Mons. This is technically purple. Uh... I got the keys, keys, keys. Put it in keys. Espeon could be dual screens, but I'm gonna just start getting off like damage on this bad boy. Um, but that trust me, turn one. That's nice, but I get a crit uh, right back, so I'm okay with that. Especially because you know I can go amp on there. I actually take the next one, so I'm gonna go for uh, another, another Dazzling Gleam. I do need this for Kirim, but I also want to weaken his squad. Also, I see, ooh, man's making plays. Grass not or Psychic? <sighs> oh, man, even though this thing wins the game, oh, man. Grass not, I have been, ooh, that was a bad, <laughs> I had to, guys, I'm a man, I had to. I just had to. That wasn't even Specs. Then again, I am not Spadef. So I say you keep getting a, um, the drops on me though. That was actually the, the worst play like I've ever made. By far. Oh, don't worry, you're not passing into Asbion. Don't worry, I'm going hard cleft. I'm getting this turn. Uh, I, do, I don't care what you do. I am I am getting up. I am getting up a spike this game. Okay, so this means I can actually get a pass at this game, which means we actually can still win it, regardless of what's happening right here. Especially because I can go perp. UHP Grass? I'm about to say. He's gonna knock right now. Uh, I wanna get up Spikes. Sure, my Scarf Lottie can sweep through him. It doesn't matter if you go Aloe, I will get up. 
all the spikes on you, my friend. All of them. All of them. All of them. All of them. Yo, Shark just won this game, and I risked it. But, <laughs> yo, I had to, man. I really had to. That's that's not a problem. We get a rocks. Mm -hmm. This is why, like, Hidden Power is so weird in Yu Yu, because there's Gliscor, which you want to obviously have HP ice for. And then there's, like, everything else. Oh, that's a sub variant. No, 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 no. Oh, I need you weakened for Hammer Pump. You too. Just, just gone. I need you gone for Hammer Pump. Okay, so we get rid of Gengar. Uh, I don't remember if I have Healing Wish. I don't remember if I actually have Healing Wish on my mind, but we shall check. I do. So we'll go keys here. On the beamer. I'm a thunder wave you. Yeah. Uh Taunt Crowback kinda wins. It really does. I'm pretty sure Z bounce knocks you out too. But I'm gonna fake out just to be safe. If you go aloe, it's whatever. Cause like I said, like the crowbat's gonna beat you 1v1 anyway. I feel like it is. Let's do it anyway. I know I know this helmet's gonna hurt. I know this helmet's gonna hurt. I know this helmet's gonna hurt, but I need to... <laughs> That's nothing. Okay, so... I can go Lottie and Trick. Even just to get his Rocky helmet is fine. And if he wants to go Muck, that's fine too. Uh, if he protects right now, that's... Like, like I said, Muck would be the most likely to come in. So I'm slowly but surely getting back my leftovers. And if you're going to give me damage on this or even a KO on Kiram, like I said, I'm slowly but surely getting back some leftovers right here. So, uh, again, Muck is weak in the... Draco is still, you know, definitely problematic. I, I got to go for Skull Burns, I feel, right now. Because I need, I need some uh, nice residual. That's what I needed. Yes, 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 yes. Oh boy, I get to go Crobat now and just taunt. Oh boy. And you go down to hazards. I can just sack Alan Mola and just click Brave Bird now. Oof. I mean, I am a palm and just click Brave Bird. So Raikou goes down to hazards. Alan Mola is not a counter with hazards plus, plus spikes. Yeah. Ooh. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Go ahead and sack that Raikou. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And all we gotta do is taunt the Alamola. He actually could Scald here, but that doesn't matter because I healing wish anyway. Yeah, and then he sacks it. So, I just Brave Bird into um, Draco and that should be able to knock out Muck, I think. I'm actually not sure. That's the best. That's the best move he could do to me. So now it's gonna do a lot less. Yeah. Or he can just try critting me with poison jabs. Just odd. There's way too many knockoffs. I think Lottie from full takes it, and like I don't. I, I, I can Brave Bird Roostall him anyway. Even if it didn't take it, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. So I take knock into Shadow Sneak, so will you turn into Shadow Sneak and that should uh, into Brave Bird and that should be able to win me the game because I definitely take a Shadow Sneak at 17. What? Oh god, I messed that. I, I swear I knew my muck calcs and I just completely messed that game up. Wow, that was my bad. That was my bad. Like honestly I should have just Brave Bird with Crowbat anyway. And of course we got another aloe. That was my I, I swear I took that hit. Is Buzzwell not allowed on this ladder? Why am I not seeing but why do I have Z bounce? And I'd rather have knockoff. I swear I took that hit. So that was my bad. I could have just roosted, 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 then Brave Bird and probably just knocked them out. Um, we're not going to risk Shark in this game, though. That's that's like for sure. I love Swampert as a lead. It gets a Rocks or Labyrinth versus everything. It's a nice chip with Fake Out. He could be a Seed Bomb variant, too, I guess. But do you need that when you have Sceptile? Plus Aloe, plus Gliscor, all 
Even Tolk is beast swamper. Everything on your team beast swamper outside of this mod. <laughs> even like a con uh, even an SD fight EMZ Cobalion, though Constant the Crush is definitely the uh, the better thing in my opinion. I'm mad I messed up the last game. But then again, because we're on lower ladder, I'm going on auto pilot. Like all I have to do is not sack. Ooh. Oh man, that boy be that boy is banded. Ah, boy, is banded. I'm a scald because Anapalm is actually a threat. Even though this comes in on Gliscor. Mm. Oh, Keys. Because Keys forces in the uh, the Gliscor. I don't know if that's a defogger, but I can Thunder Wave if anything, too. Keys T Wave is really nice in this. And also, my Crobat just wrecks him with Taunt plus Spikes up, so. Maybe I should have kept the fly him on this one and switched back the ammo palm to like a silk scarf variant. Got a nice little spiker right here. I think that Gliscor would come in right now. Like, I really feel like Gliscor would come in right now. Uh, assuming that's a defogger. If it's Togekiss, then maybe Togekiss will come out. I think Togekiss is a defogger. I love Troy's band ammo palm. Nice. So, we'll go route to Lottie and we're just going to click Trick. Uh, might not be the best play considering my switchings to Terrakion aren't the best, but uh, I have T-Wave, so I'm okay. And I don't deal with Gliscor super well anyway. It, it is a defog variant. Okay. I'm going to Trick whether it be you or Aloe would be really nice if you fear Ice Beam or something. I do get a Toxic Orb, which isn't... <laughs> the best thing for me. Defog rocks, earthquake U-turn maybe. But maybe me even having a toxic group is really nice because maybe I can abuse that. I might be able to abuse that. Hey, my buddy Fear, wanna hurry up? There's no way his default protects, right? I think you would fear Ice Beam here or a Devastating Drake. Though Gliscor takes Devastating Drake, I think you should definitely fear Ice Beam. I'm happy to see a fellow Ampom user though um, playing around with it, even on the suspect that's loud. I think that's so cool. They're really trying to hold me back, man. That's crazy. You know what game I downloaded today on my phone just because we're talking uh, and we're waiting for the move? I downloaded Duel Links today. I'm, I'm, I downloaded Duel Links because. I was uh, I was revisiting my childhood, right? And I was looking at um, I was looking at oh yes, go ahead and give me that. I was looking at uh, damn man, why can't I? Why can't I don't remember. I twit I, like this Twitch chat when <laughs> when Yugi beat Slifer, and he made the dude he milled the dude he made the dude draw and draw and draw and draw. I was looking at that man. That was fire. That was fire, man. So yeah, yeah I, I was like, hmm, I kind of want to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, I used to play it a little bit on the side. I played Dino Rabbits and whatnot. And Gator and all of them in call. It was like at the point we were all playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! Want to give me a Thunder Wave on Amp Pump? Oh, hell yeah, I'll take it. So knock off. Uh, Sharpedo is a good play here because you should go Gliscor. It also resists knockoff anyway, so... Or takes knockoff, rather. Actually, I like Crobat. I don't need my item on me, and I can taunt, and I can Brave Bird through him. And if he does go Gliscor, I can taunt it, like I said. Uh, prevents it from getting up hazards. He doesn't have... Oh, he doesn't have Heal Bell if it's potentially Tolkis. He might double knockoff because me switching out Klefki, expecting Gliscor is super, super obvious. We'll see though. Sceptile comes out, which I can just Brave Bird immediately. I won't go down to Dragon Pulse and I'll knock this boy out. Anyway, also Spike guarantee knocks out Sceptile. If I get like Stealth Rock plus Spike up, Terrakion goes down as well. I can see him just clicking Scald with Alamola, which would be a little annoying, but because I do have Healing Wish in the back, I'm alright versus that. This boy's timer is going low. 
Is anybody? Why is Shipak in the call? When he turns on OBS, he automatically gets in the call. But... Oh, no, no, no. You are not allowed to uh, defog away my harder hazards, especially because my Sharpedo is about to win this game. I don't actually deal with Tokus as well as I would like to. I'm going to start applauding. No, no, no. We're going to keep brave birding you, bro. We're going to keep brave birding you. Air Slash did a lot. I got 50. Put me out of range. This is in range of Ice Fang now. It's literally the Alamola that's just holding it together. Because at that point, I just win the game with... Um, I think he'd throw off a Skull. I don't think he'd wish. I already think he'd throw off a Skull. I'm going to U-turn. Uh, this also deals with any double he can make, but... Toxic also works. But that means Crobat gets a free switch in as well. And I could taunt the Gliscor because I, I avoid that. Um, I also, I think at 81% should avoid the Dragon Pulse from Sceptile. Imagine Sceptile got Draco. Imagine Fabio got Draco. I'm going to U-turn. I don't like him going m -pom, man. I don't, I don't... Braver probably would have knocked you out, to be honest, but... Huh, I don't switch into LT. I want rocks up with uh, Swampert, so that's definitely not what I'm going with. Like, I'd rather get rocks up than spikes up in this game. We're going to double out to Gliscor. Mmm... Uh, to Lottie expecting Gliscor? No, I don't think that's the play. Because I can always spike up. If he goes Adlo, I can always spike up even more. So that's not a big deal. Like, spikes up mean that Aloe isn't a problem. And we'll go Crobat to prevent... Obviously, Togekiss is coming in, but we'll go Crobat to prevent the uh, the setup from Togekiss. Man, Aloe's still annoying even when it's tricked. I need I need hazards. I need T-Spike, I mean. Uh, granted, the SD Scissor would have just won at this point already. Funnily enough. I think I just never Brave Bird and just Roost all some Air Slashes. I think that's actually the play. Because as long as he can't attack me, as long as he keeps going for those, and as long as Aloe can't come in and whatnot, it has to go for Scald and whatnot, it makes it a little bit easier. I'm still going for that Shark win. Terrakion could come in right now and mess me up. Like, I I'd go something like Terrakion here, because he is stalling me out of Roost, which is really important. Especially because I'm pretty sure this thing is Heal Bell. That's about Air Slash Roost. Heal Bell. Definitely an option. Uh, Brave Bird knocks out Amapom, guaranteed. It probably knocked it out before, but I, I just didn't... I wasn't sure. Because <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not really calculating this, am I? I think it's because, again, I'm on lower ladder, and I'm just trying to stock up on some wins so I can start making it to the higher ladder and actually fight Buzzwells and, you know, have z Bell. Is Buzzwell not even in? It should be in there. I think it should be. I'm risking my Lottie. I am risking it. And it worked out for me because he missed. So, I get to click Psychic now. Uh, Terrakion is guaranteed in range of Psychic Fangs, which is what I want. Uh, and obviously he does have the uh, the Toa Kiss, but that's the only thing that appreciates Psychic right now. Thinking about doubling out into Amapalm, actually. I think I'm going to make the Amapalm double. I can start throwing out some tail slaps. I don't think I think you always go Togekiss here. Or you time out. This boy's timer is getting dumb. What the hell? Okay. That was really anticlimactic, like. <laughs> Why? Alright, so finally a hound doom. Hazards are gonna be nice. He does have a crowbat of his own. Ambient, try and wear everything down. Uh, really scary squad um, because I don't deal with. I don't actually deal with Seismitoad super well. Demolish Lottie and just trick. 
but that doesn't... Hey. Uh... <laughs> this reaction was funny. Um... The... Uh, this is one of those things like, I don't feel like I can break through. Thank you, friend. Appreciate that. Um... This is gonna be tough, man. Maybe with Silk Scarf and I can. We'll see, we'll see. I don't like Z-Bounce, it hasn't worked once. I haven't seen a- maybe there's no buzzles on the ladder right now. I'm putting- I'm making a Silk Scarf again. I want some damage. Watch me- watch me see something like... The second that happens. I'll put U-Turn for momentum, that way I can get in like Shark safely. I prefer Ice Punch though. Yeah, whatever. Just a little fake out. Just a nice little chip, and then just start- Just start punching at him. Just start slapping him with my tails. Tail slaps should hit a minimum of four times. Because one, honestly, tail slaps should just oko you. Because the first time it hits you, it should be both tails slapping you, just like right in the middle. And then they're coming back, they're doubling back. Like a double slap, right? But it's called tail slap, it's not double slap. So it should always, at minimum, do four. Because I didn't even prove anything with that math at all. Alright, unfortunately, I missed tail slap on size and toe, which I do need to weaken. Um. I really need to weaken this. He just goes Metagross. So it would have been really, really, really nice to hit. Like, even if I got any type of damage off, that would have been nice. But we'll get him perp. Get up our rocks. Superior can come out on that. Which is interesting because, like, Crobat beats that 1v1. Uh, I'm actually gonna go Klefki because... Sub I don't think matters. Uh, especially because I can spike up and try and weaken the... This and whatnot. Yeah, you're not, you're not knocking me out. I'll just HP Fire, which does the same thing, but yeah. HP Fire did not knock, break yourself. I mean, I get to Brave Bird through you now, and where's your... With spikes up, you don't really have flying resist. <laughs> Should've just gotten up all three spikes. But, click Brave Bird now. Uh, Infiltrator does knock out Superior through the sub. That's why I wasn't super worried about that. Sucks that I lost my uh, Spiker though, but we do get rid of Sides and Toad. And this is something that actually deals, I mean, we do get rid of Superior. And this is something that really deals well with his team. Um, I'm actually, if he goes Crobat, I think I have to risk the Speed Tie and click Taunt. His hazards are just too good. And I might have to Healing Wish back on my Crobat, because my Crobat is one of the mons that's going to save me from losing this game. Yeah. This is our sub end screen. That's something you don't see too much. I figured if he was like that adamant about sitting up right there. Is that choice ban? I wanna roost. Yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna catch a pursuit. I think you're A V though. Ooh, momentum! <laughs> Momentum is here, momentum is now. That might actually be choice ban. Considering how much it did to quote unquote much it did to Swamper, but Tail Slap is in. Uh oh, uh oh. Come on, Ambipom. I know you're not gonna land on the sand. I need some good hits. Come on, Amp. That's fine, that's fine. He's just gonna defog. He's just gonna defog. It's fine. Get some good hits off, bro. Get some get some good hits right now. Come on, just three. It's okay. It's okay. Now I'll just get four. You Pokemon, you. <sighs> that really sucks. Um, Cause if, if, if I got rid of Crobat there, I obviously kept all my hazards up. And now he gets to bring his Seism Toad, and now he gets to like, lay and whatnot, and whatnot. And he's just gonna click Toxic right here, yeah. And I'm gonna try and weaken him for my Sharpedo in the back, which I am going for a win with. And... Then we're gonna start roaring him a little bit because we don't want Sylveon to come out because Sylveon can actually beat my team. Let me get in this. I'm just gonna go Earthquake again. Goes for the Bandit attack. See now, like I can't break through Sylveon. I needed my hazards up. Like if Ampom <laughs> did anything. For me, it would have been nice there, but he does give me Sizem Toe, which means that if I um, if I defog, we obviously both lose hazards right there, but I think it's better in my case. 
I'm pretty sure Lottie takes one hit, and I, I need to... I need to heal English my Crobat. I need to heal English this Crobat really badly. And then we're gonna taunt, because I can't have him wish passing. Two Metagr I really can't have him wish passing the Metagross. Like, I can't. Um, so best, play scenario, best case scenario, he clicks wish right here as I click taunt. And then I get two Brave Bird. Goes Crobat. I, I need to win a speed tie, but I, I really gotta win this speed tie too. There's so much that needs to go down for me to win this, but like, all right, so we win that speed tie, which is nice, but it's still not over because he does have that Metagross. Which can just click Meteor Mash. I think I just gotta go off Amapom. Putting in the work, really. That's it. What else? Let me just make sure Metagross is low. Go Amapom. Fake out first because it guarantees damage. Fire Punch knocks out Metagross, but yeah, I really, 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 really needed to get some good hits on Crobat earlier. This is a speed tie, um, which I kind of have to risk right now, and I have to win it, and I have to get good hits with Technician Boost Attack. Let me, the Z Bounce knock you out? I really doubt that. It does hell yeah I'm going for it, but I really doubt it. Nope, I just need some good, I need four hits with Tail Slap, and I need to win a speed tie. Two. Mmm. This Pokemon. Yeah. The game. Come on, man. I mean, I can still freeze the, uh, the Sylveon, which I will be going for, but... I mean, I am gonna go for freeze on Sylveon, but, like, it just really sucks that Amapon, which would have done so much for me, didn't end up doing it just because... Oh, that did so much damage, too! All right, we're doing one more with the modified version of the team with, uh, out with, oh, what? oh, I meant to make it safe. Okay, good. At least safety goggles is good in this game. I meant to make it super solid sky strike, but yeah. Silk Star definitely would have been better. And you know, if Ammo Palm got anything other than two hits, I, I think it would have been MVP in that game. I'm, I'm honestly serious, but, uh, at least Swampert because again, rocks up a really start, uh, solid versus this squad. If he does have defog, it would be on the, uh, Scizor. Otherwise, I do get up rocks immediately. Uh, and I, I mean, I guess Klefki could also be a defogger. But it's also spikes for him, so it's like really weird. I'm gonna go Crobat because it doesn't uh, risk the Grass Knot. Hi. Doesn't risk Grass Knot. Takes Bandit Close Combat as well. Looks like he's Scarf it. Okay. Looks like my boy is using the Scarf 8. That's fine. That's fine. Man, I really wish Avapom got the hit off on Crobat. Or even on Houndoom, man. It could have it came back at the end. That would have been fire. Second Fangs did so much to... Uh, just didn't realize how much Ice Fang did Sylveon, man. That was like a Swedeth Why did it take 51? That's why Adam and Shark is the best Shark, man. I don't care what anybody says. Even though we kind of lost an SBL game because we were Adam and Shark and not Jolly. Unfortunately. I'm gonna U-turn. You're, <laughs> you're not Scarf. You are Helmet, though. So, get a Brox. If he taunts me, so be I, I would value knocking me off over taunting me just because you do have a um, Manetric. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Like, I would definitely value knocking me off over taunting me any day of the week, but uh, I can literally just go Crobat and Defog and not care because of my safety goggles. Take Giga Drain. Like I said, like I think knockoff in the long term of things was the better play for my opponent. Because Swamper with leftovers has that passive recovery, which actually allows it to check Manetric and whatnot. There we go. We'll roost first before he goes uh, out to Crook. I guess main could come in as well. Maybe he turns the yeah, he turns the better play. Because if he goes main or something, I can at least get up rocks. Although I have to defog with my Lottie. I don't like... I don't have defog on the squad. 
Have I been preaching about defog when I don't have it? <laughs> That's funny. Alright, we're gonna get up every single layer of hazard imaginable in the game. And then we're gonna go toe to toe with this guy with Shark versus his team. So first off, our rocks are going up first. Okay, rocks are our number one. And then we're getting up all our spikes. Every single last one of them. Looks like he's doing the same, but you know what? If you're gonna give me a damage on Klefki for Shark, that's cool. You can't even Thunder Wave because of the, um, because I'm a Dark type. Oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. How do you even revenge kill me? I'm trying to figure out. I throw a Scald here because it knocks out Klefki, but it also threatens something with a burn. Um, sucks to not have Defog, but it is what it is. Nice little burn. Crobat's literally my best play, and I will always make the Crobat play. <laughs> always. No matter what. Uh, so we get a nice burn Lamungus, which is actually pretty important. I want a Brave Bird that... I want to just click Giga Drain, because I, I... I Earthquake, because I feel like you double into Manetric, but like... His safer play is literally clicking Giga Drain and then going hard Minotric after. Yeah, he did double the Minotric. Uh, okay. Do you have HP Ice? I mean, don't I just go in and Swamp Bird anyway? Do you have HP Grass, excuse me? I swear I just go Swamp Bird anyway. No, it's just HP Ice. Alright. Lost some nice little Quakers. If you want to give me damage on Minotric, I'll take it. Keys, I'll take it. Amoongus, I'll take damage on him. Like, again, like, he's trying to wear me down. And it's definitely working. I need my hazards up versus him, but I can never not risk Crobat. Like, I can never not go Crobat right here. Like, this is already in range of Psychic Fangs. Like, that's not the issue. Scizor, I need damage on for... Metric. I don't want him pursuing me either. Knockoff is fine. I go keys and I get up my hands. I don't know if that was banned or choice locked or not, but I get up my hazards. I'll be able to wear down that crocodile. I'll be able to wear down uh, Manetric. And then what I'm going to go for again is that, uh, that Sharpedo win. So I got the keys, keys, keys. Keys goes down. I want Scissor to go down though. I think the third layer guarantees Scissor goes down. Oh, okay, well, I mean, now it definitely guarantees Scissor goes down. Perfect. So I can just drop Dragos all day on him with Scarf Lotti and literally win the game. <laughs> so all three layers mean all of his Pokemon are gone. And I get to go Lottie now and just drop a Draco. And every single time this thing comes in, it gets a KO. And once I KO Crocodile, I click Psychic. So that's gone. Scissor's gonna go down. Uh, I'm faster than Manetric. Crocodile has like two switchins left because of hazards. Infernip is gonna go down. I'll drop a nice little Draco on you. Why not? There's a little one. There's a little one. There you go. And if he had Mock Punch on that thing, that doesn't matter. And now I just win the game with Shark. That was the Scarf Infernip too. He was trying to U-turn on me. So into Scissor. But that should be game because of all the hazards. That's why I said, like, I don't care if he got a hazard versus me, as long as I got a mine versus him. Also, this goes down, but why risk, uh... Why risk clicking Draco right there when I can just go Amapom, click Fake Out, um, and win the game anyway? Because like I said, Sharpedo doesn't come in anymore, and I just win the game with Shark, my own Shark, anyway. I just don't want to go Shark yet because I don't want to have to click Ice Fang. Like, I want to win this game safely with Psychic Spam, so. I'm pretty sure U-Turn actually knocks out Crook. Keeps offensive momentum as well. Yep, so that game is over because I just go Lottie, I click Psychic, and I win that game. And uh, Scissor goes down to hash. Like, this is what I was talking about. Like, the way I was playing, I was... No, 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 you're dead, bro. You gave me all three layers of spike. You gave me too many hazards up. Man is gonna go down. 
and so is Amoongus, and that's gonna be a game. And even if Amoongus does not go down, I go hard sharp. I go Sharpedo after he spores me. No, I actually don't. I go Amp Pump first, and then I click Psychic Fans. But I'm pretty sure, even with Regenerator, Amoongus is gonna go down. The keys really are. They're powerful. The keys really are powerful, man. I'm excited. I wish keys got an evolution. Like, they're so good, just naturally. Imagine. Indeed. Uh, but I had no real. Like I said, I got the most out of that turn. Nice. Like, I got the most out of that turn by clicking that one attack. Uh, HPS doesn't even KO me, so, like, what he has to do is, like, Thunderbolt go for Pro Paris. But that. Wait. Okay, I'm clicking Psychic, sir. I guess he was expecting Draco, and look, Among Us actually ended up taking it too. That's funny. I mean, at this point, I just click Fake Out with, um... He has the Draco there, but yeah. Good game. Alright, so I ended there. A few losses. What is that? Two losses? Yeah, three and two. Or I think that's four and two because we won this game. I don't know. Ah, not the best, but you know... It's fine. Once I get a higher ladder, start playing uh, a better, and I'll start using better teams. And this is just, you know, the team was a lot better before I put Amapod on it. Um, before I put the specific, before I put the specific side, I feel like uh, Silk Scarf Amapod would have just put in a lot more work, more consistently. Uh, but I, I want to try Zebot because I thought Buzzle was on the ladder. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Buzzle isn't on the ladder. Hold up. Let's watch a battle real quick. Any. What's the highest ranking we got? 1200? 1265. Like maybe Buzzle isn't allowed? I, I probably just misread. You know, forget me. Like, forget what I have to say. Okay, first off, no, 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 no. Because I, I don't want. I, I'm going to figure out what this is right now because I want to see a Buzzle. Blah, blah, blah. A whole bunch of crap that I don't care about reading. There's more. We'll be supposed to two Pokemon using the public voice system touching. Po okay, we're top of finishes. Yeah, it said. But does that mean that they're not on the UU ladder? That makes no sense then. How can you see how they are on the UU suspect uh, if you don't fight them? Or maybe everybody's just trying to count. I don't know exactly what it means, but. Alright, hope you guys all enjoyed. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye, friends.